there were there were hundreds of small rural communities on on PEI. They had their own history, and that's that was a very very important thing. Those communities began to disappear at an accelerating rate uh, in the 1960s, and the people who were interested in saving those their their history they they made them with very little help. They, the, the, the nearest records were in, in Charlottetown. There were no historic maps they could access. There were no recordings they could access. And this is where the, this application of Telling Island Stories um, is, is so revolutionary because it can provide uh, those sources and does provide those sources um, f to people who are actually interested in, in recording their history. Well the whole idea is that the app gives you a, kind of a tangible real-world uh, perspective on content or maps, images, audio and also books. So you would have a map of Prince Edward Island in front of you and you'd have content-specific icons in front of you, and you'd want to touch one of those icons depending on what you're interested in. For example, let's say a book, uh, and then you'd see the book cover, and you'd touch the book cover, and it would open up a full screen, a fully readable, uh, interactive uh, view of the book, so you could essentially just read the book at that point. No matter if you've even used an iPad before, you're going to be able to open this thing up and intuitively understand how it works. You're going to be able to look at images, listen to interviews, and look at maps from across PEI. Uh, Peter Miller was your father? No, was your no. Dad? that was your grandfather. We want, we want to get this in the hands of tourists and islanders alike. We want everyone to be using this because it's a great tool from everyone from students in elementary school all the way up to seniors to use to learn more about their communities. It allows you to be out and about, so to speak. You're in a community. Uh, you, can, you can use the app to discover content that is nailed to the ground using latitude and longitude. Well, the development started in May of uh, 2011, and the process has been really unique in that it's almost been entirely developed by students, so it's, the skills development piece has been huge. Now, the fact of the matter is, is I, I'm seeing this on a screen. It takes me seconds to get to see it. I used to drive 80 miles one way to the archives, which was open one night a week, okay? And I would drive there after work to work in the archives to see maps like that, okay? I don't have to do that anymore. That with the touch of the screen, I can see, I can see, I can study and learn from that, that source in my own living room. That, that, is, that is the revolution.